Look around you in this room. Notice the calm peacefulness that's around. Everyone is comfortable in their chairs, the climate is controlled, and there's hardly a noise. However, once you consider where we're at in relationship to the universe, things drastically change. We are on a rock that is traveling 67,000 miles per hour, around galaxies traveling 2 million miles per hour, and in one wrong instance, everything we know is gone. According to the astrophysicist Hugh Ross, there are 122 constants that have to be sustained for us to continue to live life on this Earth. Some of these constants are the Earth's 23 degree axis tilt, which controls our surface temperatures. If we didn't have that tilt exactly where it was at, we wouldn't be able to sustain life. Other constants are the Earth's crust. If it were just a little bit thicker, the Earth's crust would actually absorb all the oxygen that you and I breathe and we would cease to exist. If it were too thin, volcanic activity would be rampant across the world and we would all be dead. And the Earth's rotational 24-hour day. It perfectly controls the daytime and nighttime temperatures so that they're not too extreme. Had we had a longer day, there would be too big of a disparity to maintain any ecosystem. And had our day been too short, the winds across our planet would be so destructive we couldn't sustain anything. So today we're going to discuss one particular constant, which is the Earth's magnetic field. Today we're going to learn about the function of the Earth's magnetic field, the scientific data that we have found out about this, and the theories behind this strange phenomenon that the data is showing. So now that you have been orientated to the topic, let's start with the facts. First off, the magnetic field acts as a shield around our Earth, protecting us from solar winds, flares, and radiation. As you can see in this picture, this is a good demonstration this blue area right here is our magnetic field. This is the sun. And those are the solar flares and radiation. The magnetic field actually pushes it around us to maintain our life nice and comfortable. According to Dr. Ronald Merrill, author of Our Magnetic Earth, The Science of Geomagnetism, astronauts on the moon risk exposure to radiation. Anyone who had been on the moon's surface during a particularly violent eruption in 2005 would have received lethal doses. So our moon, which is barely outside of our field, would be lethal for anyone to have sustained one of those solar flares. So that's how important it is. I am one, I am one thankful that we have this field to protect us. However, this may not always be the case. There is scientific evidence out there that is showing that our field is decaying at a rapid rate. The information published in the Annual Review of the Earth's and Planetary Sciences states that the Earth's magnetic field strength was first measured by Carl Gauss in 1835. So that means we have almost 200 years of data. And it has been repeatedly measured since then, showing a decay rate of 5% per century. I know this is a basic graph, but it's a very good illustration. Uh, Dr. Russell Humphreys, who's a physicist, used this data to measure the half-life of our magnetic field. And it's only measured at about 1,400 years. So that means we have not always had a magnetic field for the history that we've had in Earth, which is strange according to uh, what we all know. So before we move into the theories behind why this is happening and what's going on, it's important to discuss what scientific laws are. Scientific laws are basically our best guess at how things work based on our available data. For instance, Isaac Newton's law of gravity. You probably all learned about that in grade school. Well, surprise, the law of gravity actually isn't correct. Einstein's theory of relativity proved parts of it incorrect, but yet we still teach it because it's a basic good understanding. We will always be superseding scientific laws the more that we can observe how our cosmos and nature works. So there will never be a true, perfect scientific law. So some of the theories about why this is happening uh, to our magnetic field. One of the theories is there is a dynamo effect. Basically, something within the Earth's crust is creating this magnetic field constantly and forever. Iron moving in the molten core. The problem with this theory is we cannot actually measure what goes on in the center of the Earth. It's all guesswork. Best guess, but we think because there is a magnetic field and it had to have existed at the creation of the Earth based off of other science, that something has to be continually creating it. So we've been doing experiments to try to find that. 
another theory is that when the Earth was formed, so was the magnetic field. And when it is, the magnetic field is gone, so will the Earth be. Now, there's conflicting evidence, and we really don't know where we stand. One of the other problems with the dynamo theory, uh, the, the constant creating of magnetic fields, is scientists are just assuming now, because we can measure this decay rate, that it might be consistent with our poles flipping north to south and south to north, which has been, there's been evidence found that that has happened several times in our planet's history, but there's been no evidence that shows that when the field loses its strength, is that coincide with the flipping of magnetic poles. And on the other hand, the Earth, always being a younger Earth than what we typically aged it at, and possibly only 20,000 years old, that conflicts with other science that has dated our Earth at 4.6 billion years old. So the evidence has been presented to you. What you do with it is up to you, but let's recap. We have a magnetic field, and it protects us from solar flares. We know that it's going away. It won't always be here. And there are several theories behind it, such as a self-sustaining dynamo, or it was created when the Earth was created. I'll leave you with this direct quote from David Stevenson, who is a geophysicist at the California Institute of Technology. He said, right now at this moment, there's a problem with our understanding of the Earth's core. And it's something that has only emerged over the last year or two. The problem is a serious one. We do not understand how the Earth's magnetic field has lasted for billions of years. We know that the Earth has had a magnetic field for most of its history. We don't know how the Earth did that. We have less of an understanding now than we thought we had a decade ago of how the Earth's core operates throughout history. Thank you.